You've been coming to Comic Con for how long? This will be my 14th year in a row. Wow. Yeah, 14 years. <laughs> so you went from comic books to gal doing gallery work. Yeah, that's right. And you've seen this place just explode then if you've been coming for 14 years. Oh my gosh, it's so different. You would not recognize it from what it was like 14 years ago. There was actually no media in here. It was strictly comics. And I remember preview night being the very first time it was a professional's night. And they had a special setup for just pros to buy those exclusive covers. You know when they used to do like, like five variants of one cover? My dad and I snuck in and we bought some covers. And, and then the next night, the next year, I think they started doing preview night. And it really was just to show, uh, not, and not to sell, like, the, the new things. Um, it was really different. It's, it's changed a lot. Anything Hollywood brought a lot of this into the convention? Yeah, I think in the past couple of years, you know, Hollywood has sort of put it like, Sean, it's like big beacon down on comics and um, and taken the content and, and really exploded it. And I think it's, it's a good thing. I mean, because honestly, there's so many women here and this never happened before. You would never see girls at comic conventions, but Hollywood has actually made comics um, cool. Like, it's, it's, I think it's different when you see a comic book and there's like a, a guy a purpley muscles in a, in a tight spandex suit. And girls, when we see it on paper, we're just like, they're not really that hot. But when you see them on screen, and you see Robert Downey, and then you see um, Thor in his like rippling outfit, yeah, that speaks to girls. And so I think Hollywood has done the comics a favor by actually making them real, making like giving them a, a human look. Um, and it's been it's been great. I mean, I, I do wish that Hollywood would give some creator control, leave some creator control, because like for example, I think the best comic book movies were Sin City, and I really liked uh, Kick Ass. I thought that was a really great movie, and it was the creators were really involved with that. So um, I think that we could that Hollywood could take a Actually, just take a graphic novel and use it like panel for panel, and have an amazing, you know, movie. You mentioned something about Hollywood helping getting girls into comics. Oh, yeah. But you, if you've been coming for 14 years, you were probably one of like one of 10 girls at Comic Con I originally. I was completely one of 10. I remember walking the aisles, and guys would be like, like leaning literally out of their booths, like, "Is that a girl? Oh my, is that a chick?" And uh, one guy was, he was like. How did you even hear about this? Like, how do you know? I'm like, well, there's this thing. It's called the internet. I'm aware. And yeah, I was. I was literally like one of ten. And um, you, you know, and even just the girls at the time as well that were here, they were very um, socially awkward. I think is the best way to describe them. And now we're we're seeing this this explosion um, of, of like popularity where you don't have to be embarrassed that you like Spider-Man, you know? And I think back then, I think a lot of girls that did like comics maybe just didn't want to mention it. Or they did to their like guy friends to be really cool, but I think, uh, I think, I know, I, I do think that Hollywood has helped like girls kind of join the boys club a little.